Good morning, friends. This is Pastor Jane Rowe speaking to you from the Sanctuary of South Church. I learned that a number of you really enjoyed the devotions that I did during Holy Week from the sanctuary, from different seats in the sanctuary. And so I thought I would continue that now, uh, not on a daily basis, but I think I'll do this three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and try to release it about noontime each of those days. So you'll have something, um, you'll, you'll know when to be looking for this. And Again, I'll continue the practice of sitting in a different part of the sanctuary. You can see where I am now, kind of uh, close up front. Am I catching the um, perspective on where I am? It's kind of fun to think about um, the different perspectives that people have depending on where they sit in the sanctuary. And I always find that um, helpful as I come in here to meditate or pray, to, to sit in different spots and think about the people who sit there and think about what they are seeing from that spot. You know, we know that we see things differently depending on where we stand. Um, and that means in our life experience as well as just our physical uh, situation. And I think there's something instructive in that um, for developing an understanding of one another's perspectives um, and compassion for one another's experiences when we try to look from another point of view. I'm going to be focusing on the Gospel of Mark in these devotions because we're, uh, we're in the, the Mark year of the narrative lectionary. And in particular because our Easter uh, lesson was Mark's account of the resurrection, which does not include an actual appearance of Jesus, but the promise that Jesus is going ahead of you to Galilee. And one of the things that I remember from my seminary days is learning that what that does for the reader of Mark who, um, is to send them back to the beginning of the gospel where Jesus' ministry began in Galilee and to read through the gospel again with the perspective of the resurrected Jesus, with that, that hope, that understanding of who Jesus was informing your reading of the gospel. So I hope for us to do that as we um, focus on Mark in that Bible study. And if you are participating in that Bible study, which will meet on Wednesday nights by Zoom, um, you'll enjoy these as a supplement to that. And if you're not participating in that Bible study, I would just invite you to, um, to perhaps do some reading and reflection on your own in the gospel. Um, and if you are interested in joining that Bible study, please email me and let me know and I'll get you what you need. So um, let us take a few minutes to pray. Lord Jesus, we heard your promise to go ahead of us to Galilee, to the ordinary places of our lives, to meet us at every corner as we were reminded on Easter Sunday. And as we read the gospel, the stories of your um, healing, um, compassionate, challenging ministry, among those who knew you long ago. We pray that you would open our eyes to new perspectives, to seeing things through different eyes and through the lens of your resurrection, your living hope that is with us in all things, in all experiences that we encounter. We pray that as we go through this day, 
we might look for your hope woven into our lives and into our world, even in this very challenging and difficult and in many ways tragic time. We pray that we would look for those who are signs of your hope and your healing, for there are many. We pray for you to be with all who are indeed taking great risks to, to be your healing hands in the world. We pray that out of this time, you would teach us how to care for one another and for your world with more compassion and with great commitment. We pray these things in your holy name. Amen.